Hello everyone, this is Rabia back to this channel. Today I'm going to be talking about layer masks. It took me forever to understand the, this concept, but once I finally got it, I was like, whoa, this is so easy. Normally when you see YouTube tutorials, people putting on layer masks and everything, subtracting and taking it out and putting it back on or something like that, it gets a little bit of confusing if you don't know the idea behind it. But I'm going to try my best to make you understand the basics of it. So if you have any questions, please leave it down below and I will try to answer them as much as I can. So let's begin by the logic first. So let's say I have this layer right here and if I hide it, this basically I think of it as my base ground, right? And as soon as I unhide my layer, it puts, it gives me an illusion that I have a mask on my base layer. So mask off, mask on, but we haven't actually put a mask on yet, but I'm just giving you an idea that how it actually works. This is not actually a mask. We're gonna put the mask on right now. So I'm gonna go down here. There's this button right here. It looks like a flag, add layer mask. You click that and then you'll see this little white window next, right next to it. So this, window right here is your actual thumbnail of layer and this is the actual literally the mask so this is how it works it works with the brush tool only and it uses colors like black white and gray only if you try to use like a red color let's say this red color right here and try to brush it you're not gonna see anything it's just gonna paint gray so it's only based on grayscale that you can hide, remove, and take off. I'm going to select color black. So I'm going to start brushing my photo. Again, this is not an eraser tool. This is only a brush tool. So if you use the color black and if you try to paint over, it's going to remove the mask. And as you can see, this little white window is turning black. So black means to take off. And white means if I switch to white, it's gonna, and if I paint over, it's gonna bring back the image again, like this. All right, so again, black means hide, white means show. So black is gonna hide the mask, white is gonna show the mask. It's just basic logic like hiding or unhiding the layer it all it but with layer mask you use the brush tool to hide and unhide now you're probably thinking like how am i going to use this in my daily life and daily routine how do people use this mask i mean i understand that okay it, it kind of works like an eraser tool like this and then you can bring it back two reasons that i can think of is number one is when you don't want to save your files let's say you simply use the eraser tool to erase it but you will not be able to undo it as much further back as you can i mean now in photoshop i think you can go further back but then still it's still annoying to kind of keep going back and try to get to the point where you left off so let's say if i use my eraser tool and i erase my layer I mean, if I do this for like thousand times, it's going to be so hard for me to guess where did I stop with layer masks. It's easy because so let's say if I use my brush tool to erase it, I can always I don't have to undo and I can always use the white color to bring some of the parts out. And plus, let's say if you erase too much where you didn't want to erase, so you don't have to do it all over again to get to that point. Let's say if I use my eraser tool and erase, oops, I meant to not erase the building. So with the brush tool, let's say if I erase the building like this. So with the white, so with the white tool, I can actually bring some of the part back. So this is how the layer max work. Number two, you can merge two images together. Let's say I have this image right here. If I place it on top like this. So I'm gonna bring my layer underneath my mask. I'm going to 
rasterize my layer. So I'm gonna click back on my white thumbnail. And I'm gonna start using my brush tool and use the black color to actually remove the layer so the layer behind can show like this. You can, so this is the number two trick that people normally use this layer mask of. So if you want to, let's say you erased it and then you wanted to bring that white again, you can simply go to the white color and then start bringing it back, whatever you have missed. So you don't have to actually keep track of where you stop and where you need to go. So you can actually like bring your original image back. Another way you can do this is by uh, going to quick selection tool and then you're going to start selecting the buildings itself. I'm just showing you another way to change the background color. So I'm going to select my building like this and I'm going to right click and select inverse. Okay, so now I have this piece um, selected. Now what I'm going to do is go, um, Let's go to my brush tool again, select black, and I'm going to just simply like erase the heck out of it. So this is so easy to cut out the buildings and then change the sky color. So let's say I have this piece right here and I want to bring, I cut off some of my buildings. Now I'm going to switch back to white to bring out some of the buildings I missed back again like this. And then this piece right here, I did not cover with my black area so I'm going to select this little area and I'm going to again use my brush tool to literally just bring my thing back all right so some of the areas like these I missed I can always go back change my size and then clean it up and then if I switch back to white I can bring back some of my buildings again like this so this is how people use uh, layer masks basically for two reasons that I could think of is uh, when they merge two images together and uh, when they do not simply want to use the eraser tool to erase something and then go back to the point where you're like, okay, what did I do? <laughs> this is how I personally understand the layer mask concept. So let me know if you guys have any questions. And if you understand my teaching method, then please go ahead and subscribe to this channel and I will continue to make these awesome videos. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good night. Bye-bye.